like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have all this stuff that doesn't match, and it's gonna be horrible, and I started to like panic in the store a little bit. Hey guys, thanks for coming back. So in this video, we are going to get a lot done. First, I'm gonna take you guys with me as I do a little bit of shopping. You guys know that I'm on a journey to just try to be more intentional about decorating and things like that, even though I don't know what I'm doing. We're also gonna do a little bit of evening cleaning motivation. I'm gonna show you guys what I got when I went shopping. And lastly, we'll do a little bit of decorating as I try to figure out what to do with the pieces that I bought. So, I'm sure many of you guys can relate. There is no such thing as being out for the day without returning home to a big explosive mess. So that's what I'm gonna tackle here. As always, I have on some I don't remember if I was listening to an audiobook or podcast or music this day, but I always have something in my ear because I don't feel like doing this cleaning. So it just helps me get going. My girls always leave this nice mess for me. So, you know, I'm trying to set the mood and get my candles burning and just do whatever I can to make this feel like a relaxing evening. This day I was super tired because I spent several hours out running errands and also shopping. I don't know how some of you people, <laughs> you guys go shopping all day and that's relaxing. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people where I don't find that relaxing. And I actually find it quite tiring, which is why I don't shop very often. Um, and then especially to be gone all day to have a nice mess waiting for me. But it's okay, nothing that 15 minutes can't solve. You guys saw that I set my timer for 15 minutes to get this done. And I literally told myself that I'm just gonna do what I can do in 15 minutes. And whatever doesn't get done, we'll just have to wait until the morning. And I was perfectly okay with that decision but I actually found that 15 minutes was all I needed to pull the kitchen back together. Okay, full disclosure, it was actually 16 minutes, but you know, I was so close to being done, I was like, whatever. But sometimes I'll do that if I feel like something's just too much, especially if I'm tired, just show up for 15 minutes and do the best that I can. And you know, there's always more cleaning to be done tomorrow. show you guys a couple of things that I got today when I went shopping um, so first I went to Hobby Lobby and this is what I got from there I got this wreath situation I was expired inspired to get this based off of my vision board I had a lot of the colors that I was going for I like some of the details the berries and I don't know just everything about this just says fall and I don't think I would ordinarily purchase something like this but um, it was what I was attracted to when I did my vision board, so I figured I would get this. Okay, the next thing that I got was this tablecloth for my big dining table. Um, I just really liked the gold, the gold speckles in it. I don't know if you guys can see the detail, and I thought the color would be really pretty for that room. Last year, we tried to um, use a tablecloth for our breakfast room in here, and my twins literally just pulled off the table. So I'm hoping now that they're older and a little more mature, that won't happen this year. But um, all I can do is try and then we'll see what happens. The next thing that I got from Hobby Lobby were these Harvest Spice um, candles. They smell really nice too. I'm actually really excited to light these. I think they're gonna make the house smell just perfect. The last thing that I got was this rug. Um, I got this because I was attracted to this pattern. I remember that on my vision board, I actually wanted to get, well, I have a tablecloth like this and I was wanting to set that up and I noticed that they have the rug, had the rug, and I noticed that these are really popular this season. So at first I was hesitant to get it because I don't like rugs that are this like flimsy because they just tend to get kicked all over the place. 
and it doesn't work out but what I noticed that people are doing is they're taking this rug kind of like as a base and they're putting like another fall inspired rug on top of it and so um, I wanted to try that and see what I thought about it um, so that is all that I got from Hobby Lobby so I'll show you guys what I got from Home Goods okay so the first thing that I grabbed from Home Goods was this pumpkin oh my gosh I just thought this pumpkin was so gorgeous oh it has like this nice velvety feel I love the color on here I thought it was very rich and just beautiful but then I felt like conflicted because I was like I don't really know you'll see with the other things that I got I'm like I don't really know if this stuff goes together like I don't really have like a theme like farmhouse industrial modern I don't really have a theme and so what I started what started happening to me is I started feeling like overwhelmed I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna have all this stuff that doesn't match and it's gonna be horrible and I started to like panic in the store a little bit but then I was like you know what no for this round I'm really just gonna put the attention on what sparks joy so I just wanted to pick things that you know caught my attention and that made me feel happy and if things don't go well together at least I know that individually all the pieces like they attract I was attracted to them in some way and so maybe over time I can find ways to connect things together with maybe more neutrals or find some common theme to unite them all but I certainly don't feel like I had that but I just knew I had to have this pumpkin and it was really really beautiful but like I didn't want my pumpkin to be alone so I had to go find her a sister and so this is her sister I really like this because it has like the pearls on there and then it has these like what are those called like rhinestones or gemstones and I just thought together they would be really pretty and complement each other once again I do not know I feel like I have two different themes going on I have one theme that's over here country farm kind of theme and then over here I have this glam theme and I just feel like I'm all over the place but you know it's okay like this stuff was this one was $12 and this one was 16 so if I messed up I didn't blow my life finances but I just thought all of this stuff was so fun and I'm just excited to see what it looks like when I find a home for it so the last thing that I got from home goods were these little lanterns I don't know why I thought these were so cute um, I noticed that in my picture that was on my um, mood board that they had these on the table and so there was a lot of different types of lanterns but I like these because they're really small and I thought that they would go nicely on the table without like overpowering the table because the other ones that I saw were like really tall and I just didn't want that I just wanted something like really simple and that would just kind of add a touch of something fun and these candles I believe actually turn on so it has like a little door and there's like a flameless candle and I'm pretty sure it says timer included oh yeah so like it turns on I just thought that was so fun okay so here's both of them in action and I just thought these are super cute so now I'm going to just um, put away all this stuff that I got and just see how everything comes together like when I was there I was just like oh my gosh my house is so empty I need to buy more but I'm like no I'm just gonna do it one section at a time little by little and one day it will come together so but in the meantime I'm just gonna do the best I can so I'm gonna take a moment to start putting this stuff away so here I'm just laying out the things that I purchased I was so happy that I had my mood board that I could refer back to because I just don't feel like intuitively I'm the best at like having an eye for things that kind of go together or how to arrange stuff and so I just did my best I was tired at this point so I just kind of just threw this stuff up there and um, I just did the best that I could and so in my mood board they had you know the flowers and the pumpkins and the fall inspired leaves as kind of a center point and then they also had the lanterns so I'm just trying to recreate what I saw and obviously I didn't buy every single thing in my mood board so I'm just working with what I have to make it look the best that I can. So 
So here I'm just trying to get my carpet situation together. And here I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with the pumpkins. I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave the pumpkins alone or if I wanted to leave the stuff that I had up there already, just bring it back. So I just kind of experimented with it until I found something that I liked. Definitely not angles, but I just thought that this was a fun way to just add a little interest to this table. But in the future, I will definitely be looking for more things that I can do to just make it more fall inspired and festive. So this is these are the updates that I have for now. It is an improvement, and so I'm really trying to encourage myself to think about it that way. Is it better than what I started? So this is that tablecloth that I was talking about that my daughters ripped off the table last year. So this is completely an experiment. Um, it seems like my daughters and I have the same taste. So I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna happen when they wake up in the morning, what they will think of my tablecloth. 